first we meet again. So now we go to the next example. We need to solve y prime plus 4xy equal to x to the power of 4. Now we need to identify whether this equation is linear equation or not. In this case, we can write actually in terms of general form dy dx plus 4 over xy equal to x to the power of 4. Based on this, we can identify our px is given by this term and then this one is our qx. So we have here p of x equal to 4 over x and q of x equal to x to the power of 4. At step number 2, we need to integrate p of x dx. So here we integrate 4 over x dx. In this case, equal to 4 integration of 1 over x dx. So by integrating this one, you have got 4 ln x. In step number three, we need to find our integrating factor, whereas integrating factor is given by a formula rho x equal to exponential of integration p of x dx. Means that here we will have our rho x, which is integrating factor, equal to integration, uh, sorry, exponential of integration p of x dx is given by 4 ln x. So, equal to here 4 ln x means that for this one, I can write this exponential ln x to the power of 4. So, exponential and ln, we can actually cancel out it and this one move here, which is we got here x to the power of 4 as our integrating factor. And then, for the next step, for step number 4, we need to write here d dx rho times y equal to rho q of x. So here d dx rho is given by we got from previous which is x to the power of 4 times y equal to rho here is x to the power of 4. But remember, our qx also is x to the power of 4. So we will have here d dx, x to the power of 4y equal to x to the power of a. And then for step number 5, we need to integrate both sides for this equation. So integrating here, d dx, x to the power of 4y equal to integrating x to the power of 8. This one move to this side. We'll have d x to the power of 4y equal to integration x to the power of 8 dx. And here, understood, integrate and differentiate. We've got this one as the solution x to the power of 4y will be equal to x to the power of 9 divided by 9 plus c. So class, based on this, we need to write our equation in terms of y and this x to the power of 4 we move to this side. So we'll have here x to the power of 9 divided by 9 x to the power of 4. This one is multiplied, move to this side will be uh, become division and then plus c over x to the power of 4. Here we'll have here this one x to the power of 9 minus 4 divided by 9 plus c x to the power of negative 4. This one we move above and then we'll have here, here we can solve 9 minus 4 is 5. We got x to the power of 5 over 9 plus c x to the power of negative 4. So this is the solution for this problem. And next class, we know that what we learned previously is based on the mathematical problem. When you have a mathematical problem, you solve it using linear method. Now we go to the application problem. If you still remember in week one, we have learned about falling parachutes. So this is the same definition which is here. We consider a falling object influenced by gravity and air resistance here, which is 
proportional to the velocity of the object. So there are two forces acting on the object. The force due to gravity given by the weight W equal to mg. Okay, there is here force due to the gravity which is given by this one W equal to mg. And then the force due to air resistance which is negative kV. And the net force here we can write F equal to this force due to gravity minus, uh, plus okay, sorry, plus the force due to air resistance which is here F will be equal to mg actually plus negative kV. So we got mg minus k of V. And now we need to use Newton's second law of motion. We perform a substitution. Where is here, based on Newton's second law, we know F is equal to mass times acceleration. And this acceleration, we can write as actually A here, we can write as equal to dv dt. So we will have here F equal to m dv dt. But this F actually is given by this one. So we can write here mg minus k of v equal to m dv dt. When I move this m to this side, I will got here g minus k over m v equal to dv dt. And then if I rearrange this one, I have dv dt equal to C minus K over M V. But class, I can write this one in terms of general equation of linear equation. Means that this term, I move to this part. So, I will have here dV dt plus this one negative. So, move here plus K over M V equal to G. You can see here. This one in terms of general solution of dy dx plus p of xy equal to q of x. Where is here dy dx is given by dv dt because here is velocity and p of x here is given by k over m and then q of x is given by G means that this problem, which is falling for a parachutist problem, is a linear problem. Hi class, we meet again. So now we go to the example that related to the previous definition concept of falling object. We have here a steel ball weighing one kilogram is dropped from two thousand five hundred meter with no velocity. As it falls. Air resistance is equal to V over A, where V here is the velocity of the ball in meter per second. The question asks you to find the velocity at time T. If given to you G, which is G here is gravity is equal to 9.8 meter per second. So now, how can we solve this question? In this example, there is no equation. So you have to base on the definition that you have learned previously which is definition of the falling object. Based on that, we know that we have here, there are two forces acting on this ball. So the first one is uh, the force given by the weight, which is influenced by the gravity. Means that here, the weight we know equal to mg, and then we have the force, which is based on the air resistance. So in this case, we have here uh, that force equal to actually, for example, I use here F for this air resistance equal to negative K of V. In this case, we have the information based on the question and then based on the definition, we know that the velocity, the rate of change for the velocity respect to time is given by dV dt plus k over m v equal to g. And then, before you solve this problem, first you need to know this is the differential equation that you will use in this case. And then, in this case, we need to find the value of k, value of m, and also the gravity. 
based on the question given to us, weight here is equal to 1 kg. And then the gravity here is equal to 9.8 meter per second square. And then we have here F, which is for the air resistance that is false for air resistance is equal to negative kV, which is now it is V over 8. So it is equal to V over 8. So class, this is a downward force means that we need to put here negative, which is negative V over 8. And in this case, when we need to identify the value of all these parameters, we know from the equation we already have the gravity, which is gravity equal to 9.8. But in this case, we not yet know what are the values of K and also M. So how can we get M? We have this formula. W here equal to M. G, which is W is given by 1 kilogram means that 1 equal to M the value that we don't know about mass and then G is times 9.8 so now how can we solve this problem we will have here M equal to 1 divided by 9.8 when you solve using your calculator you will got the answer here 0 0.102 and then class we need to find the value of K so understood here, we have the force due to air resistance is negative 1 over 8 V, which is here how to compute here uh, this one. Ne this force due to air resistance is given by negative KV. So negative KV equal to negative 1 over 8 V. This implies that this one actually velocity means that this term represents the k. So here k, negative k equal to negative 1 over 8, means that k here equal to 1 over 8. So once we got this one, we know that our differential equation of the velocity respect to time is actually equal to dv dt plus k is 1 over 8, so 1 over 8 times uh, which is divided by 1 over m here. So 1 over 0 0.102 v equal to 9.8 because g is 9.8. Means that when we solve this one, we will have here our equation represent the velocity respect to time. The rate of change velocity respect to time is dv dt plus 1.225 v equal to 9.8 means that when you want to find the velocity at time t here you need to solve this differential equation and based on the previous definition we can identify that this equation actually is a linear equation why because you can see the degree of the uh, its derivative and also dependent variable is 1 there is no multiplication between dependent uh, uh, variable and its derivative. And also it can be written in terms of dv dt plus p of v equal to q. So now class, we go to the next step that we need to find the velocity of the, uh, the velocity function at time t. In this case, we have here previously the equation dv dt plus 1.225 V equal to 9.8. So this is our P of X and this one is our Q of X. Means that this is our step number one, our equation already in general form. Step number two, we need to find the value of P of X, which is clearly it is equal to 1.225. And Q of X, it is equal to 9.8. And then from here, you need to find the integration of P of X dx. So it will be equal to integration of 1.225 dx. Solving this one, we'll have got here 1.225x. And then class 1, we got this one. The next step, we need to find the integrating factor. 
the integrating factor here is given by rho of I am so sorry this one should be P of T here also Q of T because now our independent variable is in terms of T so we integrate respect to T here also become T so now the integrating factor will be equal to exponential of that we integrate P of T dt will have your integration so we will have a exponential of 1.225 t because this integration we already solved here so now class once we got this one we go to our step number four we need to write our equation in terms of d dt and here actually is rho times y equal to rho q of t means that when we substitute rho here and also q of t here, we will have d dt. This rho is given by exponential 1.225t times y equal to exponential. This one is rho. So this is our rho. 1.225t times qt. And the qt is given by 9.8. And then, we need to integrate both sides here. When we rearrange this one, we will have here the integration of the exponential 1.225dy equal to 9.8 integration of exponential 1.225d dt. So class, this one understood we integrate and differentiate will got the answer in this bracket so we'll have here exponential 1.225 dy will be equal to 9.8 to integrate this part you can refer to the mathematical formula book this is exponential function when we integrate this part we will have here it is exponential of this one 1. 2, 2, 5t and then we differentiate above we divide with uh, what we have differentiate here so we divide with 1.225 means that when we simplify this we'll got here uh, this one you need to plus with c so when we simplify we got a exponential 1.225t plus t and then class we need to write this sorry this one is not our y because actually we have uh, we have the uh, dependent variable v so this one should be v now class we need to write v as our subject we will have here v equal to a exponential 1.225t divided by exponential 1.225t plus c divided by exponential 1.225t. When simplify this one, we can cancel out here. And this one, we can put it above. We will have finally the velocity function of t can be given by a plus c exponential negative 1.225t. So now we answer the question to find the velocity function for this problem. Thus, it comes to the end of week 2 video. Thank you for your attention. Actually, this week is quite tough. You need to know how to integrate function. You need to know also differentiation. And then, to summarize this week, the things that we must bear in mind while studying differential equation, you should know that the solution of a differential equation is a function. It is not a number. An integration is a basic tool in solving this differential equation so you have to you need to have a knowledge on how can, how to integrate function the solution of the differential equation is not unique since we have arbitrary constant in that integration so class thank you for your attention see you in the next video